taking no that's a promise, not a threat. Uppercut, season, no top, you stop breathing. Hey yo, hey yo, what's good, y'all? Welcome to another episode, Real Talk Radio. Ring Gang Radio, this is your boy King P, Bodega P, Bodega Boxing in the building. I'm your host tonight, I'm the captain. You know what I'm saying? My man Pat Scorpio, taking a nice day off, nice night off. So, your boy is here. I got y'all. So, you know, we got a, got a nice, got a nice, got a nice topics tonight. We doing it hip hop style tonight. So, you know, Bodega endorses hip hop. So, you know, first, I got my man with me. I'm going to let him introduce himself. Yo, what it what it do, man? It's uh, your boy Shutterworth, the guy, aka the goat artist, aka LB, lot of Del Boss. You know what it do? The art guide himself. Keep the pewters putin, the pins popping. You know what it do? Ringgameradio.com in the building. Yes, sir. Friday edition. Hey, yo, my guy LB, the goat artist. He goes the hardest. World is up out now, streaming. Go yes. stream that shit. So, you know what I'm saying? We got to keep it hip hop. So, you know what I'm saying? Go stream the world as an op because it's, it don't get more hip hop than that. So, you know what I'm saying? So, and I got my other man with me. I'm going to let him introduce himself. Hey, what's really fly? It's your boy, Conscious Pod, aka the West Coast Avenger, number one contender preparing for liftoff. Destination Ringing Radio. Let's get it. Hey, my guy, Conscious Pilot, elevated. You know what I'm saying? He he always about that. He always about that pilot talk. So yes, sir. You know what I'm saying? We we getting into some pilot talk today. So it's it's some turbulence tonight in what we talking about. So you know, so we are gonna get into some hip hop. So uh, you know, one of uh, one of the uh, so called legends of the West Coast, as he says. You know, the game just dropped a new album, Drillmatic. It was it that was it was an interesting uh listen first off so you know what I'm saying game game always releases interesting albums this album was very in- interesting to say the least uh for many reasons and one of those reasons was my man was coming out with some disses but you know and, and you know you know uh game he liked to diss drop name drop and diss so that's par for the course for for game and one of the tracks on this album is the Black Slim Shady. And once I saw that, I already know, I already know where this was going. Cause motherfucker was talking about M, like I'm drink champs and all that. I'm better than M, yada yada, and the white boy can't fuck with me. Like, so I'm like, oh shit, you talking greasy about M? Uh oh. Is but, but going to do it in a like you know how niggas be saying this shit now, like they'll say something disrespectfully. And didn't they'll be like respectfully, like he yeah. was do, he was on that shit. Like he'll say something like a backhanded compliment, or I mean certain shit. I I I I can feel where he's coming from. Certain shit, you know. I don't think it's like out of the ordinary. Like like honestly, I didn't hear a lot of M albums after his third album being played in the hood or where a lot of black people at. You know, so I feel what he's saying. Like, See, but, that, it's, it's, that's always a funny thing and we'll get more into that because like where Eminem what Eminem was played and who didn't play Eminem it's always an interesting topic but around here all I can say yeah. is in New York late 90s early 2000s Eminem was played around here so, yeah that's what I'm saying same thing down here like like he was played that's why I said his first that's why I said like his first three albums after that it was like like it was like hit or miss after that like it was spotty after that like you didn't it's game? like oh. yeah not game uh, no, Eminem oh yeah yeah after after uh, Eminem show it's kind of yeah, yeah. actually no not Eminem show I would say the last for me from my experience around my way 8 Mile was the last hurrah for Eminem. Okay, okay, we can go there. Yeah, yeah, yeah cuz lose yourself. Yeah, that that was that was big. Yeah. You you know honestly, that's probably the like you could probably say that. Like after that it was just but down here it was noticeable around the Eminem show that mm-hmm. he was like there's no substance to this, you know, at the end like it was it was like the, the fire was dying down a little. 
No, I, I agree. I actually think him aligning, him signing 50 kind of actually helped him a little bit because people would, people would fuck with him off the strength. And now 50's hot, so now he's on G-Unit tracks. And I'm like, okay, motherfuckers that were already getting tired of him, that, they would still hear him on the G-Unit shit. Like, okay, they would still be reminded, okay, you know, M still yeah. got it. It extended, it it extended his relevancy in. So, yeah, first, you know, in a way, he did that again with the, the uh, Slaughterhouse and Griselda. And... Yeah, but 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 Slaughterhouse and Griselda. I mean, Griselda. But by the time it was Griselda, it wasn't working. Nobody gave a fuck about Eminem. We, they were <laughs> like they weren't they weren't gonna allow him to do that. Uh, yeah, yeah. Slaughterhouse here was still like nobody really gave a fuck about Slaughterhouse. So I don't think. That yeah, but I'm saying like, the same. It's like this. It's like the same tactic. It's just a different time. Like. I'm not saying if it worked or not, because it, it really didn't, like, but I saw how it looked. Like, he always, you know how people used to say how Jay-Z used to attach himself to something? Yeah, like, I remember. Like, you, you I know, with the uh, Young Gunners, uh, Young Guns, like, they were saying he was biting their flow and all that shit, so. Yeah, attaching himself with Cam. Uh, like just oh, there was always a whole bunch yeah. of shit. people like Jay's ah, uh, like that's why when when Nas said you know Jay you a dick riding faggot you love the attention like they, they, I understood why he said that because Jay was attaching yeah. himself to everything. So and and, you know, and and people was like leaving an impression on him because you know from Sean Carter to Jay Z damn you on jazz dick like. Yeah, and he just so said the man whole government <laughs> just to illustrate yeah. the point. <laughs> Oof. But so, like, I understand what Game was saying with Eminem. You know, what I'm saying by by that time, but once Encore came out, like, where everybody's like, "What the fuck is this shit? This is garbage. <laughs> Nobody's trying to like." And after that, it w- it was done. He was done. He was done in our eyes. He became a caricature of himself around. You know, by then. Like it would get it would get to the point where like you would play like they would, Eminem would be on featured songs and when they would play the cl- those songs in like club settings or party settings the DJ would not play Eminem's verse like <laughs> it was the funniest like I remember when I, I was a teen I, I was I was a teen but I was going to teen clubs and shit I remember when they would play Smack That in the club and girls would dance and everything. They would not play Eminem's part. You would not hear that M verse because it was just like nobody's trying to hear that shit. You fucking up the whole flow of the damn song. <laughs> and then when Drake dropped Forever, like, and he had Wayne, Kanye, and Eminem on that song, like, I would go to the club and they would play that song. And they would play the whole song until they got to M's part and then just not play it. <laughs> like, you know how bad that is? You play all the other verses, like, they didn't even they wasn't even subtle. You played Drake's, Kanye's, and Wayne's. Like you could have stopped there after Kanye, but they did the Wayne verse, and it's like, are they gonna finish it? Nope. Just <laughs> skip M's part and just went to another song. <laughs> Nobody was fucking with M. Like they wasn't trying to hear that. And, and that's the thing, M, M wasn't even sounding bad like that. Like it just it's like I felt like he wasn't at his best, and then people were just already like he was played out at the time. I, I I feel like game just in a way just he's mad because or not mad or just I guess his point of view I, I guess it looks like M gets so much props for just put for such for a career when he just really had like you know three albums that was that people fucked with type shit like or he's overrated I mean but that's the thing like. To it, most it, most real hip hop people, he he's not overrated. Like, no, I mean, he's in he's top twenty five, top twenty, right? Like, but but back in the day, people were calling him a golden top five, though. Like, yeah, people five. do that now, but we call them stands, and we know we know it's not true. Anybody, yeah, yeah, yeah. Over time, yeah, yeah like I, it's it, ridiculous it, now. It's funny because like when I would, um, I'll just say you know. And I, 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 I'm, I'm cool with everybody. I don't care what you are. But it was funny when I would hang around people with a lack of pigmentation. 
um, and they would get so upset that I didn't like like I didn't like Eminem as much as they did. Like, yeah. and it was weird because I used to hate. <laughs> I used to hate like they would be like, "Well, I don't like rap, but I like Eminem." Like Eminem, oh, yeah, oh, every you. every black person has a story like that <laughs> yeah. where they interact with some damn numerous black times. person. <laughs> yes, and I'm just just fuck this lacking pigment and melanin deficient. Like motherfucker could say that about me. No, I'm calling them for what they are: fucking white people. <laughs> they the ones who would say that shit all the time well i don't really listen to damn uh rap music but i do like eminem yeah. and it's like dude like keep that shit to yourself like who gives a fuck or they'll be like you'll be talking about rap you could be talking about the most random artists and they'll jump in the conversation and to fucking bring up eminem yeah, it should be annoying. And I like, like I've always I've always made it clear. I I as a rapper, I have no issue. I I respect M's talent and his skills, his ability, but a lot of that shit's not moving me. Like a lot of his there's songs no substance. Yeah. There's no substance. Yeah, there's no substance. And there's a lot I mean, you know, technically he's a really really good rap, great rapper, but I mean, you know, he's not saying all, shit. And, it's like all the sock rap is dead and then when he started trying to fit every syllable and word in in the damn bar, yeah, like a, a cleaned up, refined silk the shocker or some shit, like, like I like some it was hit or miss, like on shit like the songs he did with Little Wayne and he would rap and he, like that shit is hot, like he he kill it sometimes, but just overall, it just I, I don't know, it's like it the fault like it took too long for him to get dope again and then he was always on his own beats and it's like me i wanted to hear eminem over like some fire ass different production yeah, yeah it's some yeah, the production he, he, he used go ahead pilot no i was gonna say that in his production isn't uh, he's had a few songs that's decent but his production was very lackluster to me to be honest. yeah uh, I mean, I mean, if any, if if anybody wants to know my opinion of um, Eminem's production, uh, just look at the just t- no look no further than the fucking Tupac album that he ruined. That fucking Facts. loyal loyal to the game. That was such horrible, horrible, horrible production. Motherfuckers like motherfucker had him rapping on G Unit beats and like changing Pac's voice. And all that shit, like, like that was horrible. That was an abomination of a Pac album. Yeah. Like, and that's on M. He fucked that whole shit up. And then he fucked up the uh, Stack Bundles career. Not Stack Bundles. What the fuck? Up? Stack quote. Stack quote. Oh, Rob oh, Stack Bundles. Damn, I oh, we got a comment. Rob D. Many people like that. I love Eminem. He's so great. I mean, listen. I'm not de- like I'm not denying his skills. You know what I'm saying? If Disloyal to disloyal to Pac. <laughs> That's what it was. I mean, no, if, if, no one's saying Eminem is not dope. Is is he? He's definitely a top twenty, top fifty, whatever. He's he's up there. He's elite. It's just people look at him with the whole yeah. You that, don't have a real classic. We kind of even give him a classic. Like we kind of give him his second album as a classic. We. We, we almost borderline that. Yep. Um, I, like I said, if that's the kind of thing you like, that's fine. I it's just it, it was funny because then people would try to bring up some of Eminem's like later work that like to try to be like it's impressive. I'm like 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 you don't love you don't love Rap God. I'm like Rap oh, God Lord. was not that. Rap God was not that fucking good. It was him. Like the flow was the flow was cool, but he wasn't saying nothing. Like yeah. I think the last time I liked my name was No Love, and that was mostly because of Weezy. For me. Oh the, no! Oh yeah, with No Love and 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 pick the and drop the world. Like I, I actually like the the collabs he did with with Wayne. They were yeah, different. They, he, and he had fire. Kind of like, like honestly, I felt at that time him and Little Wayne should have did like an EP together. Yeah, if around they, around that time it would have been yeah. Uh, they could have knocked out like maybe six songs, seven tops, mm-hmm. and really killed the game. Like speaking oh, yeah. of game, <laughs> I'm playing. <laughs> yeah. Again, we're going back. So one of the Black Slim Shady, that was the title of uh 
games disc, and it was uh, it was very it's interesting. To say that <laughs> I was not expecting him to do what he because, and it was weird because I'm like, is this a disc? Or like at some points it was like it's almost like it's appreciation, but he's like dissing him at the same time. I'm like, wait, yeah, it's it, it's what? a it's a respectfully type of diss. It, it it reminded me of Joe Budden put out a song uh, years ago before he retired called Slaughter Mouse, and it was about Eminem, and like people were like, it's it's like it sounds like he's like making paying homage to him. But it also sounded like he was fucking dissing it. It was like people it was didn't shady. know which way it was. It was shady. <laughs> and oh, shout out to Android, uh, number nineteen eighty three. Sort of like that cannabis to M, cannabis dis to M years ago. It's an open invitation. Rob D said, "Yes." I think like, somebody somebody mentioned the cannabis dis in the on the Twitter poll. Yes, somebody like, did mention it. Yeah, it was random people mentioning random disses. I've seen Mariah Carey. I've seen Cannabis. I've seen, I think somebody said Evidence. Like, yeah, because a lot of people did diss Eminem. So, yeah. I mean, what did y'all what did y'all think of the diss itself? The game diss itself. Oh wow! Um, see, who wanna? Well, when did y'all hear it? Like, I heard it today. I heard it just recently on the ride home. I thought it was dope. I loved. The second flow, especially when he was rapping like him, with you know, and he he kind of copied that flow. That that was comical, but it was it was a real it was really talented. It was really good. <laughs> it was actually pretty good. I mean, like it's ten minutes long, but I mean, this nigga always making these fucking Netflix series ass songs, yo. <laughs> yeah, I think Hip like, Boy produced it. Hip Boy, Hip Boy. Uh, I, I, the Hip second verse always Beatles had don't. me. The, the second verse had me laughing though. He's like, "I killed yeah. Dre. I killed Dr. Dre in my basement last night. I was wasted last night." Was wasted like, last that night. That sounds yeah. like something Eminem would say. Yeah, it was straight up but, Eminem, like a vintage Eminem. Like it, it almost sounded like it was a satire, a parody, backhanded yeah. diss. Yeah, Rob D said it was funny. The last two verses are nice. No, the verses. Yeah. Cool, like, the, and the part where he's like, in a, in a driver, like, and it's like you realize he's like, like I'm like, wait, this sounds familiar, but, and then you realize he's having the Uber driver as Stan, the, 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 the brother of Stan, like little little Matthew in that song, Stan. I was like, oh wow, like, <laughs> like yo yo, this is interesting. It, it was creative, like as a song, it was creative as fuck. It's artistic, like I get it, like. But as a diss song, it, it ranks low. Yeah, it wasn't too uh, of venom. There wasn't the too much venom. There was enough venom. There was enough yeah. venom yeah, for a diss track. Yeah. Like Lupe's diss to Royce was better than this. Oh, of course, absolutely. And and even though you could say the games was more creative and he put more into it than Lu- Lupe or Lupe what? Lupe Fiasco. Lupe. Yeah, Lupe Fiasco. Um, Lupe had it technical, had a good beat, flow, everything. But what what he made sure was he had enough venom. So even though he was coming with the whole respectful shit, he had enough venom to make you remember, like, yo, he's, this is this. Yeah, it's like, yeah, yeah. No, he just, yeah. No, Lupe was kind of disrespectful. <laughs> Lupe was kind of disrespectful with the Yeah, movie. he was. No, I, I say that because a lot of people think. This songs are like fuck this nigga. That's why I fuck your you. Yeah, way. yeah, like and y- you know, like yeah, there's some of that. I mean, you could be disrespectful without being over the top, like, like, like ah, uh, you know. So yeah, I fuck your bitch type shit. So I, I, I get it. So I just felt like if you're gonna go the whole creative way, like game win, you gotta balance it and and. Put some venom in them damn lines, my nigga. Like, it's not a game, but he made it like it was. <laughs> no pun intended. He's Rob D said he's definitely saving the venom if he responds. This is a this is an open invite. I can see that. I can see that. Yeah. If if that's the case, okay, I can understand that. But don't make it fucking ten minutes. <laughs> that, that yeah, that, <laughs> that was the it's problem. Like, it was it was dude, very dude. long. You wore everyone out before you got started. Like, basically, like, you had the damn pre-workout 
and the open, the open public training for like two hours, and then you only gonna do this for a four rounder. Yeah, <laughs> it, it was it was very yeah. weird. Like it, it, he did too much, and then at the same time, not enough. If that makes sense. Makes perfect like, sense, actually. Yeah, <laughs> I don't know how you do wow. too much and not enough at the same time, but he managed to do it. <laughs> that, that's that's like somebody's. They they don't burn the pancakes, but they flip them over too many times, so the pancakes get tough. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> so I'm sitting there with some beige colored tough ass pancakes. Game Android says game reverting to his old tactics of random disses to stay relevant while Banks is sticking to what do what he does best. Facts. I mean, Banks album was pretty good on the on us. Yeah, like, that, Banks album was dope. I, I fucked with Banks album. Um, game is weird with this shit. Like we all know how he is with the name dropping and yeah, like <laughs> like like I didn't even listen to the whole Drillmatic album yet. Like I listened to a little bit of it, so I can only imagine how much name dropping was on that shit. I'm gonna listen to it, but <laughs> yeah, really named, like the population of a, a small country by now. <laughs> someone, someone said, someone tweeted, what did it say? Um, we're gonna play a drinking game, and anytime game name drops for the third song, you're gonna have to get your stomach pumped. <laughs> oh, <laughs> yeah. Um, it's just weird. I'm like, first off, one of the things, like I said, I think that it being ten minutes is like. Kind of drag like, that. That's what drags it down for me. For me, yeah. This ain't this ain't the year wrap up, nigga. Like, who you think you is? Bad skills, or <laughs> yeah. Uncle Murder. You bad skills, and you definitely ain't Uncle Murder. So, like, <laughs> Uncle Murder would have went disrespectful. You kept it flat. Um, this is a game who who we know could be disrespectful, and it's like, it's like honestly, you know what? This this perfectly describes it. And I'll shut up. He had a Joshua. Lucy part one game plan. <laughs> this nigga went in there thinking like, yo, I'm gonna be more creative and more lyrical than Eminem. And it's like, he has the pedigree to do it, but it's like, why when you can just do what you do and just be disrespectful and lyrical and just murk this dude? You up here, all right, let me jab, 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 jab four times. Throw a right hand pivot left hook. Hold on, uh, skip to Malu outside. Like, dude, man, just go in there and beat this smaller dude. Like, what the fuck? <laughs> and they're both the bigger dude. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, I don't know. That, oh, it, it, shout out to Rob. Do you say thirty-two 30, features or, or on thirty-one <laughs> tracks? Shout out to Rob. Yeah. That's what I'm saying, like, that is well, way even too his last many. album was like forty albums. I mean, forty tracks. So, born to rap. You know, that is way tracks. too many feature artists. Like for, for uh, first of all, that's too many tracks. First off, you made a Super Friends album. That... Yeah, like you you made what this was like a three albums in one. Like you you basically did three albums worth of, like material in one fucking album. We get to the Khaled um, Friends album. Yes, <laughs> doesn't work well when when you when you're not Khaled game. Like this isn't gonna work that. Like, well, it doesn't work well. It doesn't work yeah, well. Exactly. Well, we <laughs> barely tolerable with Khaled. <laughs> yeah, especially now, yeah. yeah um, oh God! If y'all lived out here, y'all the big guy played out of Cali. Oh, I, I was already. She, I was already played out of Cali by like 2014. I was completely done with Cali. Like, <laughs> yeah. I'm just like, nah, I can't take this. Anymore. Like, it just became a drag. Um, One Blood remix the album 2022. <laughs> <laughs> Rob D won the internet with that. Oh <laughs> shit. That's it. That's it. <laughs> Killed it. Touche. That's it. Like that's Yeah, you might have to pack this one up early, boys. Yeah. Like, the, the, the problem is actually the one blood remix is actually has more replay value than this diss, honestly. Yeah. Um this diss was too fucking long and it's not gonna grab my attention enough. Like for me, I like a diss that I can play back over and over. I, I'm, yeah. I'm with the disrespectful shit. I, th- I think one, one of the more recent ones for me was Push It the Exodus. Like, I can play that song just like, uh, as a regular song. But yeah, there, was, because, there was a Venom balance where I was like, okay. Because Push knows what he's doing. Yeah. Like, game, I don't know what the fuck his angle was. 
Um, and it's still weird to me because this man at one time was like, you know, the one artist I would never go at is Eminem because that white boy will kill you. And now all of a sudden, now you're kind of doing all this, like when you was previously like dick riding this motherfucker, like you was with everybody else, because that's what game does. Uh, like, it's just weird. Like the whole, the whole, this whole thing is kind of corny because game is kind of corny. Yeah, it's kind of a shame. I was like, game. If he wasn't such a cornball, he'd be revered so highly as a rapper. I feel like, as opposed to what he kind of is looked at to some degree, you know. In many ways, but game kind of all yeah, game kind of messed up his own career. He's kind of being an idiot. Uh, he ha- he has some really good albums. Um, I just feel some of his albums are a hodgepodge and just like they're directionless and not very good. Yeah. Uh, after after the first three it just becomes a whole mixed bag it gets like worse and worse sometimes he has some ups and downs like half of them i'll still fuck with damn other- so did it, didn't we just say the same thing about eminem <laughs> yeah yes he's basically becoming the black slim shady in more ways than one bars <laughs> yeah <laughs> he only on ring gang you gonna get this shit yes definitely ain't no one else even saying no shit like this absolutely now uh, now I'm just wondering if Eminem is gonna respond see Eminem is a guy that he'll take he'll he's up for the challenge but I feel like I don't know if he's at the point where he still wants to yeah like back in the day he would have you know there'd be something coming but now he's like you know we would have we already heard something if, if this was back in the day Eminem like yeah, yeah. so I don't know if we if, he, if he's going to respond or do we even want him to respond? <laughs> First off, let me ask that. Do we want him to respond? We want to because we want to hear Game go really at this dude. But the thing is, Game messed up. Well, we don't know yet, but... Uh, oh, but and, Android oh. said Raskas had the best disc towards Game. That shit was Ethan 2.0. Ah, he up there. Damn, that's a good one. Um, well, I'll get back to that. Um, uh, what I'm saying is, game may have not even baited Eminem enough with this one. Honestly, yeah. Like, it's like he needed more venom to to really. The only way game, if Eminem comes out and raps like game, but we already seen Fifty Cent do that, so it's like, eh. This yep. whole bunch of name drops. Not, not not rich and still trying. No, not rich and still lying. <laughs> yeah, not rich still. Li- well, see, I get what you're saying, LB, and I would probably feel that way, or like with the expectations, if because to me, Eminem has responded to less. He's responded to he's responded to motherfuckers that weren't even dissing him on a song that just talked about him just on air, and he wrote a song about them. Joe I mean, Buddy, he, Lord he body bag, he, he body bag Benzino. Damn, you know what I'm saying? Did you date Benzino as your example? Yeah, <laughs> and it's true. He bought, yeah, that's like the company. worst example. Dude. How? That's a nigga like. Look, naming Benzino as an example is like naming when when people talk about animal attacks. You literally named the lady who jumped in the polar bear tank. <laughs> like you don't count that motherfucker. <laughs> I don't, I don't you, you don't look, look. You don't, <laughs> you don't count Benzino. <laughs> Even though Benzino had some songs that were hard and that went at M, and he, he said some real shit. He had like a thousand of them shits <laughs> on top of interviews and a whole magazine. Like he literally asked for it. <laughs> <laughs> yes, but I'm just saying, like, like Eminem has went at people for less that didn't even diss, like, that didn't even really diss him. So it's like weird that he would go for go at people that did less than game, but won't go at game. You, you so, right? I, I, I agree with that, but that, that's why I said it's like it's fifty fifty. Me personally, M should respond just because of game stature, and they got similar careers. Just Eminem did it bigger. Oh, shout out to Eric Kang. Uh, 
Games One Blood remix might be as long as the Won't Let You Down H Town remix featuring everybody from Texas. <laughs> featuring everybody for Chad Butler. <laughs> Which is true. <laughs> oh, man. Eminem's modern album look like <laughs> whack ass IG these days. Oh, boy. <laughs> uh, dude ripped Everlast, I remember. Oh, we'll get into that. We're going to get into that. Yeah, yeah, we're going to get into all of that. And yes, Benzino uh, is a woke of all time contender. Yeah, fuck Benzino. Yeah. Like, he, he ain't even worth talking about. I'm not even going to waste my time on that dickhead. Um, but that <laughs> Made Man album. Man, that nigga has some features in production. That that uh, the, the main man, the main man album was great for everything except Benzino. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, it's like you know how people say like, oh well, like which I don't agree with this, but people were like, oh you know, Pac is great, but I hate when he's with the Outlaws, which I don't agree with because I actually like the Outlaws. Yeah, that's some bullshit. But like. Like, this is the complete opposite where it's like, damn, these main men niggas is dope. But fucking Benzino, we don't want to fucking hear this motherfucker. But I think Benzino was never whack to me. He was just an average, average ass fucking old nigga rapper. And he yeah. always sounded like an old nigga rapper. Like, he was, a, he was like Mr. Cheeks level, but not as good as Mr. Cheeks. <laughs> no, I no, never. Wait, get the fuck out of here. <laughs> yeah, no, no. Yeah, who, Pilot, who, you who, like, What the fuck are you drinking or smoking tonight? Like. You say it's some crazy shit. Wait, you compare that and Mr. Cheeks? Oh, come on, I, I can't let you get away with Dude, that. Dude, Mr. I, Cheeks' charisma alone is like a lead. I love the Lost Boys. I'm not going to let you do I'm not going to let you get away with that. Next group, the Beamers and the Bands. Like, come on, <laughs> man. Like, really? Love, peace, and happiness. Yeah, no, nah, no. Nah. I, 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 I reject that pilot. I, re- I re- completely review. Dude, that. it's like, like I'm thinking when you say Benzino, we thinking about like, okay, he's better than Mims, like, like shit like that. Like this nigga said, he said, fucking Mr. Cheeks. Rob D said, no way, lol. He was Cheeks, but not Mr. Cheeks. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Rob killing it. Uh, um, oh, so, you know, now, now we go back to Eminem. You know, Eminem is battle tested. This guy, like, so if he does get in with with game, it'll be good to see how he responds because this motherfucker has went at a lot of people, and a lot, of, a lot of people have went disses to to him. And we about to get into that right now because a lot of motherfuckers have released dope disses to him. But which was really one of the best. So, you know, say we did a poll this uh, this afternoon. Um, you know, Ring Gang got the best polls, whether it's boxing, hip hop, you know what I'm saying? Don't matter. We, we, we got it. We got the content pick. Poll, poll content game on lock. Poll position. Um, and the poll was, who made the hardest Eminem diss song? And the choices were Everlast, Whitey's Revenge, Ja Rule, Loose Change, MGK Rap Devil or Game Black Slim Shady. Uh, so far, we got 106 votes. This motherfucker's feeling this. 106 votes, and uh, it's it's really close. But 40% said MGK Rap Devil, followed by 37% that said Ja Rule Loose Change. 14% said Everlast Whitey's Revenge, and 9% said Game Black Slim Shady. So that's everybody says it's either between MGK or Ja Rule. So I don't know what y'all think about that, but that's how that's how they looking right now. Uh, hold on. Hello? Yo, yo. Yeah. Ah, John, I was just making sure my mic was doing some weird shit. So, did y'all hear me before? With the, yeah, yeah. Um, with the so, um, what y'all think? Uh, first of all, I think like it's a lot of young M stands going to the rap temple. And it's the <laughs> most like recent one, but if you know, if you heard all the songs, like Rap Devil ain't up there like that. And that's against a, a past prime Eminem. That's what made it kind of closer. 
And it's also the most recent besides the game shit, you know? Yeah. It was yeah. the most decent, good, good scrap at Eminem. So it's like, I'm not shitting on it, but I'm not, I'm not trying to overrate it either. Like, I think it's getting a little overrated because I feel like Everlast and Ja Rule got them harder. Yes. Um, and I, per- I picked Ja Rule simply because and like Ja Rule's song wasn't only like it wasn't really directed to Eminem just Eminem it was really a 50 cent but Eminem caught some strays everybody caught some strays with that yeah but it was just the lines that he said were more just impactful than like it made it it was so bad that Eminem had to respond like off of yeah. the you know what I'm saying he said yo M wants to do rag for it you never gonna have waves. You'll never know black pain, but you could be from come the first white rapper slain. Like I was, cause, and I always, I was like, yeah, cause like this motherfucker was running around wearing do rags and shit. I'm like, who told him that was a good idea? Like, take off the do rags. Yeah, that, that's like, when Em was like trying to find himself. He was kind of getting corny. And then of course, when he said, "You claim your mother's a crackhead and Kim is a known slut, so what's Haley gonna be when she grows up?" Like. <laughs> This I don't think there's any it's one such a line. hard line. Yes. Like that was Bruh, so like, like that, that shit was, took me out. <laughs> that was M putting his like you know how like this is how I, you know I was always told you know when I was when I was younger I, I I always tell people be careful what you put out about your personal life because motherfuckers will use it against you. Well, nope. this is that perfect example of of M putting out his personal life on Front Street and somebody used it against him. And Especially if, if you're not the type of person who can laugh things off. And, like, and, and like, admitted it hurt him. Yeah, of course, of course, because that's like a nigga like Cam laughs it off. Like, a whole different type of rap styles, man, and personalities. Like, of course, Em took that shit to heart. Like, yeah. I'm, so to me, I picked that one. But like Everlast had a dope disc though. Like, I, and you know what? I I picked Everlast shit. Why your revenge was dope as fuck. Um, and, I, and I felt he was damn, like he had the most. Mikael Kessler stand up one two <laughs> approach to the whole battle <laughs> traditional. Like like honestly like. He said you won't be. He said you turn hard when Dre gave you a record deal. Like he just was just going in. Like every line was like a slap in the face. <laughs> and even the whole shit talking about like, like when he in prison, like he'll he'll visit his he'll visit his wife and his kid. <laughs> just... Let me ask you this: you remember that Hail Mary disc that they did with even Buster Rhymes on that? Was that after yeah. the Was that after the John Rule shit? Yeah, that was that, oh, yeah, that was that was because of this. Yeah. That was because yeah, of yeah, it. He had to bring, yeah, he had to bring, to bring the big dogs. In there. Yeah, <laughs> I mean that that disc came from from Loose Change because they have Busta on there because he mentioned Busta on Loose Change. Yo. Yeah, I'm surprised yeah. they ain't had a little Mo on there because <laughs> <laughs> I think that she got it right before Em got it. Yeah, but there were uh, there were other people that are uh, like that. Like at like the comments in the poll, was like oh you know Mariah Carey's this like <laughs> Gucci Mariah Man, Carey. Gucci Man's version. <laughs> oh yeah. yeah, I've heard that too. I've heard I mean, people say that shit. I mean, I, I didn't count that even because it was too it was too uh like you know it wasn't direct it was subliminal. Was and then you see the but the video make you know it's like like they yeah. tried to kind of school it like it was him. So I I get it. It's. It's in the R and B way. I get it. Oh, shout but out to yeah, Henny. I'm not gonna shout put it up there. Shout out to Henny God Slick. They ate up Ja on Hail Mary. That was like five on one, though. I mean, they yeah. did not did, 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 did but I did not like. Had to get like three top fifty rappers of all time to body Ja Rule, who nobody thinks is a top fifty rapper on a yeah. top twenty five classic beat probably uh, you know one of, <laughs> one of the most ep- epic beats you could actually like one of the I, see yeah. i didn't love hail mary like that first off i hated 50s verse because he basically just bit off of pox verse like yeah, yeah. <laughs> like he was just pop biting pock lyrics it was just yeah nah. yeah but, but pot ghost wrote that shit like literally ghost wrote that shit. <laughs> <laughs> um 
uh, somebody else put evidences this towards Eminem. And I forgot about that one. The, the search for Bobby Fischer. The evidence was coming at him. <laughs> he called him a blonde fag. <laughs> <laughs> but see, that shit ain't hit harder. It ain't hit harder than Everlast this though. Uh, somebody said, oh, Android said, because Job was still relevant, unlike Everlast and Biss. Well, I'm not counting at Cannabis because Cannabis came at him like a scorned stand. Like, yeah. His approach was horrible. Like, so that was bullshit. And look, th- this to take this to make y'all remember, let y'all know, whenever somebody draws blood from Eminem, he always got to get back up. And they always got to run to some Tupac shit. Or Ever, Detroit, ever, ever last, Yes. Everlast bodied this man so hard he had to go. I mean, it's, it's, he had to go get D12, and they had to get the Tupac beat, but and they had to add it to another song. Like these niggas had to go all out. They did go all out. Like they but the first song was hard. Was hard. Like the first song, you didn't even need the hit him up part. All you needed was the first song where he just. Um, I, I'm gonna kill you, mm-hmm. and and he's like, um, and I think he he's like, do it, do it for Ice T, do it just to do it. Fuck it, he's a bitch. He go hit you back. He's nothing. Like he was killing that part. Like Quitter was dope. Yeah, that's what. Yeah, yeah, that's what. Yeah, yeah. Right, he he was eating at his soul with Quitter. I was like, I, I oh, listened no, to no, Quitter. No. Like, Quitter, Quitter was the first one. I'm talking about the one that before the beat switched to hit him up. Oh yeah, no, that, I, I I remember that one too. I forgot that what was one called. was fire. He, he was he was killing him on that one too. <laughs> <laughs> like that's what I'm saying. It's like he didn't even need to get to D12, and it's like they get like, but oh man, like but oh. Um, Oh, and Henny God, you said Hail Mary. Um, honestly, the song that I, the disc that I prefer, like the song wise, that I like more than Hail Mary was Go to Sleep. And DMX, like, that was better than Hail, Hail Mary. I like that one more than Hail Mary. Yeah. Because X was going, because X was going at job too. I'm like, all right. <laughs> Fuck it. Get, get the yeah. big dog into that. But then, but then Ja on the street street, remember they are now RB proof. They had um uh, jumped in my in Miami. Oh and then, yeah, and then Eminem had to come do the the, the Toy Soldier song. He didn't want to play Gangster No More. He had the video and he was. Oh yeah, he was co- put, low key cop and please. He was <laughs> cop and please. I love, he like, put, I love he's, it. He's putting glasses on and you know took the do rag off. You know he was Blair Cobb in it. <laughs> <laughs> Like, like, real talk. Like, he Blair Cobb that motherfucker. He was looking like Wilder in the post, uh, the the pre hype for yeah. the for the Fury fight for the second for the third. They started looking like they about to sell final call papers and bean pies and shit. I I get it, but for me, like, it's just weird how many people voted for um the rap devil because that honestly yeah. MGK was not all that impressive to me. It was it was cool, but like it was like eh, it was all right. It was. I don't, I don't know. I wasn't feeling. You that. know, you know what it was. It's, it's the case of MGK. You had no expectations, and he was better than what we expected from him, which yeah. is, which is true. Yeah. I didn't like when I first heard the song in the video on World Star. I was like, like yo, damn, this shit ain't bad. Like, you kind of got an Eminem. What the fuck, yo? Like, it, I had to hear it twice. And by the second time, I was like. Yo, M got to respond to this motherfucker, like yo, like white on white violence. <laughs> it, it, that too, that too. But white yeah, rapper like, on white rapper crime. <laughs> he he had enough venom, and it was like, and he was saying a lot of shit that, you know, that we've said like about how the whole like, yeah, you was hot like years ago, but no one don't want to listen to that shit now, like. <laughs> exactly. Right. So so it's like. You know, he took the like he took the alley oops that were there. So and, and M spanked him, but Yeah, yeah, M yeah, Android, yeah, exactly. It had the cambosis effect. <laughs> yes, Yo. that was the one and done for him. <laughs> the art of art art of war. <laughs> 
Y'all are killing it with these I can't with these comments. Oh man. The art of deception. Deception. <laughs> deception. And then faded into oblivion afterwards. So oh, damn. 